Today, I'm going to teach you how to use the arithmetic quiz in your courses. And that is with the use of H5P. All right, bago ang lahat, you're gonna have to turn the editing on. Okay, once you are in the course or in your course, don't forget to turn the editing on and click on add an activity or resource. Look for H5P. Okay, fill it out. Okay, at the description and all the other configuration that has to be set. Let's make this to just 15 points. The passing is 10. Attempt options, I want it to be the first attempt as always. And all these things. Okay, and let's give it a deadline. That's until 8 a.m. And then the, in the tags, let's put arithmetic quiz. For those of you who are not familiar with the tags, it is actually similar to hashtags in social media. This can make the search of this activity or this course easy for everyone. Who wants to access the course now we have set everything up let's now create the activity itself in the h5p editor now this is the content bank and you will be able to see the editor itself when you click the add button up here and then look for the arithmetic quiz okay this is the editor we have to give it a name Hmm, the intro text. Well, since this is not a requirement, I will skip this one out. But of course, if you feel like putting intro, go ahead. Okay, let's see the quiz type. Is it a linear equations quiz or arithmetic operations quiz? It depends on you. Let's try the operations quiz. Okay, but if you choose this one there, we have advanced, intermediate, and basic, all right? But for this session, I'm just going to teach you how to use the arithmetic operations quiz, specifically addition, right? A maximum of 20 questions. Mm, since we have just indicated 15 points for grading, let's just max it to 15. Text overrides and translations. Okay. We will have to change the language or the wordings of this activity if you wish to. There. And that is basically it. Let's see. There. You won't have to, um, you won't have to think of the numbers. You just have to indicate how many items should the students answer. And the platform will suggest you the sequencing of the items. There we go. Well, basically, that's that. Oh, I got a score.
And there you have it. And if you feel that that's not good enough for you, let's try to edit that and see what the other equations can offer. So let's try the linear equations quiz. Okay, would you like it to have fractions? You want it to be intermediate or advanced? It's up to you. Let's try the advanced. For those of you, or for those who are math wizards, I think this is going to be good. All right, what else should we hmm, edit here? So let's try the time, the finished, okay, the retry button. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so that basically is it. I think that's all the things that you can edit from here. And let's save that one. Okay, let's see how hard this is. Wow. <laughs> I was surprised how difficult this is. Cool. I don't you don't need to think about the equations by yourself. The platform or H5B can give you already. Okay, depending how hard or how easy or how basic or advanced you would like the questions to be. There you go. And if you feel if you feel good with this, then let's close it and try to put it to your listen. Okay, so basic. Well, basically, this is not basic at all. <laughs> Let's try to change this one. Okay, since you have changed it to advanced. Okay, advanced mathematics quiz. All right. Let's save it. And then let's close it. And then going back to the course, click on this box and look for the mathematics quiz we have generated. Okay, it is, oh, it says basic. Well, it's not. Anyway, there we go. And then let's save and display. Wow. See? Awesome. <laughs> okay, so that's about it for the arithmetic quiz. As you can see, it is very easy. And one thing I like about this particular content is that you won't have to think of the items by yourself. It is automatically generated by the H5P. All you need to input is how hard it is, how easy it is, how basic, advanced, and how many items should you want this to have. And that is it. I can't wait for you to input this in your courses. That's it. I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.